Hi YouTube, this is Tara and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this video that I'm doing today is still about the Laura Geller um, Balance and Brightening Foundation. Um, the hand finish in Italy. Weightless coverage, which it is. It is a weightless coverage. I'm not gonna lie about that. Uh, I didn't bring. I didn't bring the rest of my stuff. My bag. Yeah, I didn't bring it. You know to to um. So I can prop my phone up properly. So, hold on. Just let me open it. I showed it to y'all yesterday. But I'm showing it to you today. Now, what I have... My head cut off. What I have on my face today... Y'all, look how I'm tearing the box up just to get... Just to open it. It doesn't make sense. And that's a lot of products. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's just me being special. <laughs> Okay, so this is the brush that I'm going to use today. It's more denser. And y'all know that sun is tripping. So, yeah, it's been more denser. Thank you. Uh-huh. So let's do this. It's not a lot of fallout. And I'm rubbing and rubbing. Now that's a little bit that fell out. I'm cleaning it up on the table. Just that little bit. So this brush is denser from the the one I used yesterday. On my face I have my regular routine but I have on a primer I'm getting my eyes real good it's supposed to be color correcting and y'all know my eyes are dark it's a full, full of coverage now Somebody was saying in the comments yesterday said they would use it as a finishing or a setting powder and my sentiments exactly. Um, somebody said maybe it was the same person I forgot said that they said theirs with, with a, a setting spray. And um, I definitely see a little bit of a difference. I'm kind of rubbing my eyebrows off, not being careful. I see a little bit of a difference around the eyes. But it's not going to do too much because it's a powder. I'm going to let you all see. trying to see how well
Y'all, why did she just come back in here for nothing? I'm a, I'm, I hate going to the bathroom, but I'm going to have to go in the bathroom. Because I don't want y'all to hear people in there using it. I don't want to hear it or smell it. Okay, so I'm going to bring y'all close so that y'all can see how it applies with a more denser brush than the little fluffy brush that we had yesterday. This is a more dense brush right here. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Does it look ash? And then I'm going to take a paper towel that's wet. Even, and listen, it's the sun, the glare of the sun, even my dark circles. And I should have, I hope y'all got a chance to see the high pigmentation area around my eyes before I actually did the foundation. I hope y'all saw it because I've been using something that I got recently. So what I did is I just went and got a paper towel and I damped it since we get to see. But I can't really see that well because of the glare. But it don't look that bad. And I want to go in the bathroom, but I don't want to hear, hear and see and smell people handling their business. So I'm just going to press my face just a little bit with this cool towel right here. So we got our fashion fair um, per, um, pearl, and I really do seem to like this. Yeah, it feels so good. It smells good. Nice and clear. You know, I'll show it to you again, just in case it's your first time. Uh, fashion fair, I got this online. They don't sell this in the store. And it's called Platinum. Okay, and I've been wanting to try, um, continue to try this Huda. <laughs> so, uh, so I have my primer, I have my um, minted cosmetic vitamin C, vitamin E primer on my face. I have my eyebrows, these are Juvia's Place, it's a pencil. And then I have my Laura Geller um, Brightening and Correcting Baked Foundation Powder. And I just set that with a cool towel. This this nail right here always splits down the middle. You see how the rest of them grow out? And this is the longest I can get. They will grow longer than this, but I can't let them grow longer than this. I have to keep them filed because um, once they get longer than these, they break off and they break off lower than my ring finger. Trust me. So my right hand 
they don't grow as long, but they will. I just keep a, I have a crystal file, a glass file or whatever they call it. And I really need to go and let somebody do my nails so that they can do like a nice pedicure, cut, cuticle remover. So I guess the next time I need these files, if I have a little extra money, I just go get a regular manicure with clear polish. Cause I don't want that gel and I don't want that acrylic. Cause you can't get that stuff off. So, uh, but I do want to try some poly gel at home. Poly gel system at home. Okay, so y'all tell me what they look like. And So, I'm gonna get the supervisor said, can you put your phone away, please? Because I was at my desk. I was listening to something. I was getting ready to change it. So, um, yesterday, I used this terracotta shade all over my lid. And then I went in on top with a Julius Place multi-chrome. That's what I did. So, I'm just going to do a one and done today. Now, actually, I went in with this. And then I put that multi-chrome on top, which I was very unsatisfied with. Because I felt like it was more glittery than chrome. That's my personal opinion. So, we seen the terracotta. We've seen this shade right here. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this shimmer right here. Okay, it has like a rose gold tone to it. Okay, it has like a rose gold to it. So not bad with the foundation uh, with covering the dark circles because um, it, it's a powder so we're not going to expect too much um, I'm not sure if women of color are really excited about Laura Geller and her products. I know she's on QVC a lot. And you watch QVC and they're using all these products. And you start ordering. I haven't ordered from QVC in a long time y'all a long time now I order online so now with me looking at the foundation up close in this mirror it doesn't look bad at all even with using that um the more denser brush but I do see that dark those dark circles it doesn't really do much to hide that so when I get to my desk what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to just get a concealer and put it on there if I don't get another foundation and rub on there but I can tell it's on even after using the towel to set it with a wet towel I can still tell it's on. It doesn't look bad at all. Uh, let me see. Yeah. It looks good. Now, as far as the eyeshadow, I got some fallout. 
and it's on my face and I hate that. I hate to have glitter on my face like a snowball but I wish the glitter was more like the glitter or the shimmer in here. My lips just look shiny. They don't look glittery. And that's what I like. Even when it wears off. I'm not going to have glitter everywhere. fix my eyebrows when I get to the desk because I see why I kind of rubbed it off right there but I may not because the other supervisor who is not my supervisor is stalking me so this is the final look <laughs> he said could you put your phone away please I'm like sure tell the tale and he gonna tell my supervisor that he had to tell me to put my phone away which he shouldn't have to but I had to pull it out and make it I was listening to something plus I was getting ready to come to break but I was listening to something and it went off, so I wanted to change and listen to something else. You know, so I would tell the day that's what they do, honey, snitches. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up my video. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend about my channel. I love you for watching to the end. I hope you had a happy Halloween. I was waiting on a particular palette to come in, and it was my first. Uh, I hope y'all. Uh, I had chicken biscuit. Y'all know I thought I had it just about every day for breakfast. On the weekend, I have maybe if I have enough money, I have shrimp and grits, and I order that through Grubhub because I feel like I need a little bit more seafood in my life. I can't remember the last time I had fish, even tuna. But the way they doing stuff now, they raising stuff in the farm. They GMO everything. See, I need to get my brush. I'm getting my hot brush, and I'm going to wash this, and then I'm get my hot brush and just run through. See how it is? And then you see how it's sticking out right there? And then that's a... Um, this part right here, see how it's matted? That's what's really making it stick out. Like that. So. Y'all never mind me. I'm going to have to get some more hair. I want to get some braids, but my hair is gray. Y'all seen it? It's gray all around the front sides. And it's a dingy, dirty looking gray. It's a dingy, dirty looking gray. It's not nice and silver. No. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm going to do my Sephora. I was waiting on my other packages to come in. It's probably going to, because I ordered something else. And it's probably going to come in on the 4th of November. But y'all will be tired of watching unboxings and Sephora hauls by then. So, I, I mean, I got the majority of the stuff at home already when I went into Sephora and purchased. But I did put some of that stuff back. Y'all see me putting in that basket. Because that bill went up to $600. And then I realized, I said, oh, I could have did this on credit, on Karma, Clark, Clark, whatever that thing is where you can shop pay. 
I said I could have did all of this there and just let them take so much out of my paycheck a month. I mean, every two weeks. And that would have been better than spending them, the, them couple of hundred dollars that I did spend on practically nothing. And that's what somebody was talking about. They did a video yesterday. They said, look, when you shop at your Sephora haul, make sure you get stuff that's expensive so you can get that 20% off, the high-end stuff, and things that you always want to try that was out of your budget but name brand. Because the rest of these sites, instead they're going to have a Black Friday sale, and normally these people have sales on these sites every week or every other week. That's more than 20% off. Some of them will give you 30% off. Um, when Sephora is not having their Rouge sale or their VIB sale, most of them will give you 15% off just for signing up to the website. Now, 15% ain't enough for me. But it's something. You know, if you let me do the 15% plus you having a sale and the item I want is on sale and I can still use the 15%. That's great. That's awesome for me. So I'll save that little 15% coupon that they give me when I first sign up to their site for when they have a sale. And then try to see if they'll let me use it during the sale. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm.